This is the future. Good day, my old and new Kryptonians, and welcome back to Fire Marshal series. And this is unfortunately the very last one in the series. Well, we had to finish somewhere, right? We couldn't go on forever and ever and ever. So, um, hopefully, you'll enjoy this video. And for today, we will be discussing how to connect a fire hose to a hydrant. What is the proper way of rolling it down, rolling it back up, and some things that you have to keep in mind while busy working with fire hoses. Firefighters love to play with their hoses. It is a very important tool, and therefore, we have to know exactly how to use it, how to protect it, and how to make sure it will last for a long, long time. So let's begin first with the rolling down of a hose. Actually quite simple. To roll down a hose, simply connect the male side to the hydrant, pick it up by the lugs on the female side of the hose, it's the only side with lugs, pick it up above shoulder length and start walking until you've reached the end of the hose. When you are done with the hose, you will obviously have to roll it back up. So how do you do that? First, let's get all the water out of the hose. You take the hose. Put it in a straight line, you lift up the hose above shoulder length and you walk the whole entire length of the hose. We call that underrunning a hose. Now don't be stupid, let gravity do the work for you. Or we'll underrun the hose downhill so that the gravity can assist you with letting the water out of the hose. Once that is done, make the hose nice in a flat, in a straight line. No kinks or twists. Keep it straight. Then proceed by rolling up the hose by starting with the female side first. That will be the side with the lugs. Remember when you roll up the hose to make the roll neat and as tight as you can. The reason for that is if it is flimsy or loose, the next time someone else takes the hose and wants to roll it down. The lugs does this when you're rolling it down. That hose will start falling apart, covering over his arms, maybe be a trip hazard, just gonna trip and fall because of this whole hose going out everywhere where it's not supposed to go to. But if it's nice and tight, you'll be able to roll it down in a straight line and the hose will stay where it is. Some things to keep in mind when using a hose. Number one, do not step on a hose. Small stones can actually cut the hose, which will cause it to leak and obviously damage the hose. Do not drive over a hose. If you have hose ramps, use them and put the hose inside so when a vehicle wants to go over, it can go over safely. And lastly, do not drag a hose. Because if you drag the hose, the couplings will be damaged and the couplings are made of aluminium and if it's damaged, it's obviously going to leak and it's not going to connect to the hydrant the way it should be. Now when your hose is connected to a hydrant, open the water slowly. Or if your branch has a valve, you can open the water, but open the valve on the nozzle slowly. That's so that you can let the air out of the hose. If you open it up too rapidly, that full force is going to knock you off your feet because you will not expect the force. We are talking about 8 to 12 bar of pressure coming out of a nozzle about this size, especially if it's a straight nozzle, like the ones you get in the fire hose box. So it'll be a good idea to open the valve slowly. Once the water is there by you, then you can open the nozzle up to this, the strength you want, or the strength that you can handle comfortably without assistance. Because if you are alone, it's obviously not going to be someone else supporting you. Now when you're done, don't just suddenly close the valve. If you do that, you're going to cause something called water hammer. Now water hammer can actually damage seals, damage connections, damage the hydrant and even destroy a water pump. 
So what is water hammer? It is a pressure surge or a high pressure shock wave that moves back into the line due to a sudden change of direction of water flow or a sudden stop of water. Have you ever heard in your house when you are busy using the tap in the kitchen and you suddenly close the tap, your pipes in the roof goes like go 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 That's water hammer and it's actually quite dangerous um, because it can damage your system. So how do you connect a hose to a hydrant? But after you have inspected your hydrant, simply take the male side of the hose, put it inside the hydrant until you hear a click sound. That will mean that the hose is secure. Roll the hose down, use it, and when you're done, simply go back to the hydrant and pull the release pin, which will release the hose. Simple as that. And that's that. It's really as easy as that. So let's do a quick summary. To roll hose down, connect the male to the hydrant. Grab the lugs, lift hose to shoulder height and start walking. Now to roll up the hose, underrun the hose, make hose straight and flat. Roll up neatly and tightly. To connect to a hydrant, place the male inside the hydrant till you hear a click. Pull release pin if you want to disconnect the hose. Never stand or walk on a hose. Never drag the couplings and do not close the branch suddenly. Close it slowly to prevent water hammer. So we have come to the end of the fire marshal series and also the end of this video. I hope this was an informative series and I hope it was fun to watch. I'm sure this video material will assist you to become a fire marshal. Things might be different where you work, there might be some different rules and techniques, but I'm sure the information that I've shared with you in this series will be relevant. So thank you again for watching my series, watching my videos and supporting my channel. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see any other videos that will be posted in the future. Hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of those videos when they are uploaded. And as always guys, whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, keep it safe. Until next time, cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers